everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, as you can see by my surroundings here, I am at the store, but not to worry. I have the doors locked. The majority of lights on that side of the store all turned off. Uh, nobody can get in here. I basically came down to the store today because I needed to get some modeling supplies and actually to work a little bit on the, uh, the KV-1, which I showed you guys yesterday. Hopefully you watched that review video. I'm excited to get started on that. And I was walking around the store, you know, picking up stuff that I need to take home. And then I started looking at a bunch of kits that, A, I want to build, but stuff that I realized I hadn't shared with you guys yet before. And, and that was primarily because of lack of time. Well, uh, under the current circumstances, I am blessed with a ton of time right now because my store is closed, of course. And be, with that being said, I go, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of these kits. And one kit that I wanted to build because it's just so unusual, is this one right here. And this is the new Tacom Polish tank, the PL-01. Take a look at this thing. This thing is just screaming sci-fi, crazy looking futuristic tank. And because of that, I was like, man, I really wanna build that thing up. Now I got a batch of them in about two or three weeks ago. They were gone instantly, so fast that I couldn't even put one aside fast enough to, for me to build one up but we got a few more in and I immediately grabbed one off the top threw it to the side and I thought well this is a perfect opportunity we'll build this as one of our build videos but in the meantime I'll show you what the kit looks like inside it's actually a, a pretty simple to put together kit and now I know the outside is this kind of gray battleship looking uh, kind of boring looking thing which we could do and weather up but there's also all kinds of crazy camouflages that we could do or Heck, it's sci-fi. We can make it anything in, in my I know it's not really sci-fi, but it looks sci-fi. So we could do this anything. If we wanted to paint, paint this like a Warhammer 40K, like a dark navy blue or a bright yellow, we can do whatever the heck we want with this thing. It's our, uh, it's our downtime. We can do it. So I am going to plan on building this one, but for today, we're just going to do the review video on this. Another thing I want to share with you guys, and I know part of the world has already had these for a long period of time. But uh, they were supposed to be over here a while ago, and they were delayed. And now we're supposedly supposed to be getting them. But uh, Tamiya was kind enough to send us out samples of all of their new lacquer paints. So I think there's like 76, something like that, in the 70s, of all these brand new lacquer paints. And they are going to be finally on the market in the United States. Uh, like I said, they were supposed to be here November or December. That didn't happen because of some kind of labeling issue, which is usually always the case why we get delayed or why paint from Tamiya runs out. It's always labeling issues that um, they have to go through and do all this testing and then, then finally get the new label on and then it can come out to us. But from what I understand, uh, May or June, these will finally be out in the country. In fact, one of my distributors shipped me the new paint rack for it, which means if they're getting the paint racks, they must be getting the paint as well. So whole bunch of cool colors. I'm going to look through the box and see. I, I got to imagine there's a Russian green in there that we can paint that uh, KV-1 up. So if there is, we will use that as a test bed for testing out the new lacquer paints on the Tamiya kit. And how about we paint like a, a bright blue or something else kind of crazy on that PLL? We'll, we'll figure that out later. And maybe I might even do like a little survey to see how you guys want me to paint it, either like sci-fi looking or just, you know, regular modern day looking stuff. So, uh, like I said, there's a ton of new colors that are going to be out. Uh, a lot of them mimic the spray cans that you see back there, the big tall rack, uh, in color-wise. Now, I smelt this paint, and it's definitely lacquer, but it has a completely different odor than the uh, spray cans do. So, Because someone was saying that at one point they thought it was just... The spray cans decanted, basically. I know Tamiya didn't actually decant them, but I mean, using the same formula, just putting it into a bottle. But based on the smell, I don't think that's the case. But like I said, we will get a chance very, very soon here to try them out. I'm excited about doing that, especially because there's so many cool colors that don't come in the regular Tamiya bottles. They're just completely different colors that are only available in spray can. And then there's, of course, the basic colors as well. So... Be on the lookout. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of review videos. I'm going to probably take home or maybe even try to film them here since I've got the afternoon and nobody can come here to bother me. Uh, <laughs> literally, uh, I will try to get a bunch of review videos out, but that way we'll keep this going throughout the week. So there you go. So let's get started.
Okay, guys, let's take a look inside the uh, the new Polish prototype light tank from TACOM and 35th scale. Move this out of the way. And the first thing we're going to look at is the uh, bathtub style hull. And as you can see it right here, we've got most of the side detail already put into place for us there. And one thing I'll point out as you look at this kit, this kit is going to be very, very simple to put together because it's mostly just stark lines and things like that. It actually probably wouldn't take very long at all to put on. So like I said, you got the bathtub style hull. We've got our upper hull here. Really, uh, really wide and not as long as I would have thought it would have been. Looks like it's got a anti-skid on the very, very mild, but it does have a texturing on the upper hull surfaces here. There we go, and these actually come in the same package together, so it kind of just clicks into place right there. It fits so well, but if you notice it too, it's actually a very, very squat tank, like I was saying earlier, and we'll show you the turret, but uh, first of all, look how far the turret sits back on. In fact, the back of the turret is almost basically going to be hanging over the back of the tank, or, or almost even with it, I should say, but having said that, let's take a look at the turret here. It too has this uh, texture over the entire thing. Then we get two side skirts. Slide those out of the way. And the side skirts are all molded up with uh, rigid support in the back to keep it uh, nice and firm. There we go. So you got two of those. And. Here is the uh, the turret, the rest of the turret, I should say. We've got the lower part of the tur turret. This is the shroud that covers the gun. And now it is a two-piece barrel, as you can see right here with all this fluting on it. But it's honestly going to be a very, very tiny amount of sanding and stuff you have to do because the majority of the barrel would be inside the shroud here. We've got a um, rear plate here. Machine gun. Like I said, it's just a, a cool looking tank. For the tracks, the tracks are link in length. Take that out of the way so that doesn't distort the view. So we've got the big long piece for the bottom, top, probably uh, also the top. Although, looking at this, you know you can always cheat and only build this just this portion of the track because these side skirts aren't coming off so if you didn't want to put that top piece on you didn't have to but so you got two sets of the uh, sprue for that and the final set of sprues are the uh, the road wheels and suspension arms drive sprocket and return idler you can see and, and that is the majority of this kit so the only one other little sprue and that is just some clear parts which, you know, I like to leave in the bag here. That way we don't beat them up or anything. And then also decals and the tiniest amount of little photo etch right there in the instructions. And they also come with a, a jig for the, uh, the track. So I, I'm going to go ahead and build the tracks all the way around. But if you didn't want to, you didn't have to. But as you can see right here, so that's probably a break in the two sets of top tracks because it's such a long run on it there. So that is the uh, the entire PLL-01 prototype Polish light tank. That's Like I said, it's a simple kit. Uh, now that I have the time, I'm going to build this one up too. So I'm going to take this one home, start cleaning up all the parts, and start getting together uh, you know, sub-assemblies, which we'll film and do a complete build video on this as well. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick look inside this new Tacom PLL-01 prototype Polish tank. Uh, it's uh, definitely different. Doesn't look like anything else that we've built in quite a while, so I'm excited to build this one up. Uh, this one will probably get built up. Uh, this is probably the second one on our list right now. I do want to do that KV-1 from Tamiya because that's a, a new kit, but then we'll, we'll work on this one. Maybe even simultaneously, maybe build and film. I don't normally do that, but hey, these are strange times. We can go and do whatever we want right now. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming. Oh, and also one other thing, if you like this review, please go ahead, subscribe down below, ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. We're, with all the extra time I have right now, I hope to get a whole bunch of videos out to show you guys all kinds of cool stuff. This is a great hobby. 
And hey, it's great for downtime, especially if you're stuck in the house all day. Also, one other thing, Andy's Hobby Headquarters t-shirts, they're available right down below in this little bar down below the actual video itself. I appreciate it. Any help you can on the channel always is always, always appreciated. Thanks for watching.